This is a short video on how to make your own fingers for the linear style press that you can uh, make up yourself. There's, these fingers are made out of 12mm square bar and 12mm rod, um, basically half inch if you're working in those measurements, half inch square bar and half inch rod. Firstly, what you need to do is to uh, get yourself a welder, grinder, and if you've got a few simple machines, you can create these fingers quite easily, and they will work on any of the linear presses. Reasonably simple to make and very cost effective. First off you need to start with some square bar. These bars are about 12, uh, 200 millimeters long. I'm not going to give you the exact measurements for the measurements because there's plenty on the internet to give you exact measurements for the for the lengths of the bends and everything else. This is just to describe how to make the bars, cut them and bend them. Once you take your bars and cut them they'll create these bends that first mark is for the first bend on the opposite side of the bar the other two marks are for the other two bends what you need to do is put your bar uh, once you've got it marked put your bar into a vise and uh, you need to get yourself a grinder whether it be a nine inch or a three inch or a four inch whatever now the grinder I'm using, we've got a relatively thin blade, so what I do is I make my first cut most of the way through the bar, probably leaving less than a millimetre left in the back of the bar, and once you cut it down evenly all the way through, then you just bend the bar inwards. Now what I need to do here is cut it with this disc three times. It's a relatively thin disc, so I need to cut it three times. If you're using a thicker cutting disc, you could probably get away with cutting two cuts and then bending. So once you've made the cuts, bend the rod in, make sure the rods are touching, and then just cut through the bar again in exactly the same place. This just widens the cut again. Bend it in one more time. And once it's bent in, all you need to do then is just weld up on each side of the bar, not at the uh, top or bottom, just weld the sides for the time being. Uh, the reason for this is uh, once you have the fingers made up, there will be no welds on the inside or no welds that you have to grind off on the inside to make it nice and smooth. Okay. Once the uh, cuts are made and the welds are made, that gives you your first angle. Next you turn the bar over, so the marks from the other side are facing forward. And for this second cut, you need to use exactly the same amount of cuts as you used on the first bend. In this case, it's three cuts. So you cut your first cut, still leaving less than a millimetre on the other side, just enough for the metal to hold on without snapping off. Once you've made your three cuts, you then weld up the sides again, and only the sides. Just cleaning off the welds, and as you can see, your bends come up exactly the same way each time. On your last one you'll need to make a few extra cuts. In this case I use five cuts. That creates a larger angle. The more cuts you use the larger the angle. You just need to be reasonably careful when you've made these bends that you don't go too overboard and you just gently bend it. So in this case it creates five cuts. You'll just need to experiment on a piece of metal first just to work out exactly how many cuts you need with your size blade to get the angles that you require. Then you just grind off the excess welds 
on each side of the uh, the bar. And that creates a nice flat world. Now we need to add one more piece to the fingers. In this case I'm using a bandsaw just to cut off the uh, small amount that you need. And once this has been cut through you'll see where it goes on. Now you really need to have this piece on there otherwise your, bar, your fingers are not going to be big enough to drill a hole into Okay, so you've got your bent finger, that piece just slots in over the top, creates a, enough room for you to drill a hole. In this case it'll be a 12mm hole or half inch. So what we need to do is weld that piece in place. So just weld the sides. Weld the top and you would weld the other end as well. Okay, welding both sides. Make sure you've got a nice penetrating weld. Clean it off and then you... Uh, it's a side weld that just needs to be welded up. Then you grind it all flat and you need to make sure that all the welds are ground off so they have a nice flat surface and there you have the finished, basically the finished blank it's just the last weld on the end you don't want too big a weld in that spot because an adjusting screw has to be put into the threaded hole in there at a later stage okay so there you've got a nice flat area that can be drilled Work out where you need to put your hole. Halfway up the bar is usually a good spot. Pilot, well, uh, drill a pilot hole first and then go through with the larger half inch or 12mm bit. Once that bit, the holes are drilled in all your pieces, you need to then take a piece of 12mm or half inch rod. Okay, work out your lengths that you need. This, uh, I can't remember the exact length I used on this. You just need enough room so that you've got sideways adjustments. For your, you've got enough room for your centerpiece, your sideways adjustments. And then the fingers just slide onto the rod. For the centre bars, I've used two flat pieces of 5mm, because I didn't have any 10mm. Uh, flat bar, so it's two 5mm welded together and a hole drilled in the top. This piece goes into the centre between the two fingers and later on will be welded onto the stem of the press. So that's how it'll look. Now we need to drill some holes so that we can put in some grub screws or whatever screws you want. Here I'm just drilling and tapping a quarter inch by 20 hole to take grub screws. One screw will be to hold the finger onto the bar in place and then a second one in the end will be for the adjustment. Once that's made the centre the bar is just a quick weld with the rod going through the centre bar so that it stays stationary then the fingers can be tightened onto the pole using the grub screws very simple and very cost effective way of making press fingers. The whole cost of this would be under less than $20 for all your materials and your screws.